What is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Let's pet our chicken right there. We have more chickens to go pet real quick though. I think one is, yep, one's right behind that tree. Ah, uh, where's another one that I can hear? Oh, there's one down there, and I think one right there. And boom, and come on, where's this one at? Where is it? Oh, there it is right there. Nice, all right, we pet all the chickens right there. You can see that uh, last episode, we actually laid down taps on every, uh, or at least four trees over here, three different type, or two different types of trees. I did get comments saying to uh, put a tap on this brown tree right here, so I'll probably cut down the trees around that one so I can actually see that a little bit easier. Oh wait, no, never mind. this one right here. Is this it? I think that's it, yeah. See, we have a red one there, we have the green leaves there, and we have this one, okay. So let's put a, put a tap on that one. It looks like another one's growing behind it right there, so I suppose once that one's actually matured, we could actually have another one right there. And then I also noticed that uh, this, well, I don't know what this tree was right here, but it's growing. We had a seed, I thought, what was it, mahogany seed or something like that? So we're actually getting some growth out of that, so that's pretty good. You can see that uh, we started the day at like 11 a.m. or something like that, and that's because I took care of all the crops again. Uh, we actually had all of the bok choy ready to be harvested. You guys remember we had that uh, at the end of the last episode, so did it at the beginning of this episode. And we have a bunch of eggs over here as well as large eggs, as you guys can see. We have a gold star brown egg, brown large egg right there. So that's pretty cool. And we have a lot of heckin' uh, mayonnaise ready to go. Uh, I guess we could just mayonnaise the regular size ones for right now. I did get a comment. Oh, I... Oh, I didn't scroll over enough right there. Man, I put the large egg in there accidentally. Whoops. Uh, let's put that right there. All right, well, uh, maybe tomorrow we can have another uh, large egg. But uh, you guys did remind me saying, yeah, you do need large eggs for the community center. So that's why I was trying to save that brown one right there, but uh, unfortunately used it. <laughs> but uh, let's go to the community center here in just a bit and uh, go donate that. But do you want to go sell all that mayonnaise so we can get a good amount of money? You can see we have a lot of crops over here that I took care of, as well as we have a bee honey ready. So we have a little bit of wild honey right there. I don't know how good that is. Uh, I guess you could just sell it. Okay. Just like uh, mayonnaise, just like uh, any any jam, any like pickled whatever. Which speaking of such, we don't have anything pickling right now. I guess we could pickle the eggplants. So let's let's or uh, we could sell the pickled eggplants. I did get a comment from someone saying to pickle a pumpkin next because apparently you'll get a lot of money out of that. Like what do they say? Like seven hundred dollars or something like that. Apparently you get like three hundred normally. So if you pickle it, you'll get three or you'll get seven hundred. So that's good. More than doubling your money right there, right? So let's go pickle uh, one of these silver star pumpkins because we're not going to be using the gold star. We need that for the community center. And I believe this male we have right here is selling one in a pumpkin, right? Pumpkin, right? <laughs> Waffle, I'd like to buy a pumpkin from you. My daughter and I want to carve a jack-o'-lantern for the upcoming Spirits Eve festival. Kind of sounds like Halloween, so it makes sense. And there it is right there from Caroline. So let's accept the quest. We already have the pumpkin in our inventory. I don't know where we're going to find her. Uh, but it doesn't have a time limit, which is good. So let's go bring Caroline a, a pumpkin. I think we can find her over in Jamie's, uh, was it not Jamie, uh, Pierre's shop, right? Which I guess, I guess if anything, we could sell some of the stuff over there instead of putting it inside of the shipping container. And uh, speaking of such, we do also want to sell the large egg uh, later as well. So we could actually have that counted as like shipping every item, right? So what am I doing here? Oh, yeah. Put the red mushroom up. Uh, I did have to eat a lot of blackberries because remember at the end of the last episode, we like passed out in the middle of our farm over here, which by the way, apparently... Uh, walking through crops and stuff like that makes you move a little bit slower, so I did not know that. Uh, definitely want to take our actual pathway next time. That way we won't get slowed down, right? But let's go to Pierre's shop. And I guess, uh, oh, and there's a plum up there. We'd have a little bit of time. I guess we can go uh, get that plum, as well as anything else that might be over here. As well as, look at the trees. They grew back pretty quickly after we cut them down, you guys. But speaking of such, we do want to cut down a bunch of trees to get like 400 or 450 wood or something like that. So we could actually uh, upgrade our house sometime soon. And uh, to do that, I definitely think we could, uh, oh yeah, you know what? Should I go back to my house and, I don't know, it's 320 right now, I don't think we have enough time to do that, but uh, I, I guess if anything, we could sell a lot of those Silver Star, Bronze Star, Gold Star crops in the shipping container and get a lot of money out of those, right? But to sell the Wild Honey for 100, mayonnaise, four of those for 760, that's a pretty good amount of money. Don't want to sell the pumpkin because I'm going to give that to Caroline, right? So let's do that. Wild Plum, I guess we can get rid of that and sell those, there we go. Oh, Cowpoke! We just got 50,000 something right there. Oh, wait. No, that's for hitting 50,000. Yeah, earning 50,000 gold. Nice. Awesome. So, doesn't uh, Caroline hang out up here? Or is it someone else? I forget. Uh, I don't know. Man, I, I still don't know what this is all about. <laughs> I should probably look into what that's all about. This, that weird, like, hall or whatever this is over there. I don't know what in the world that's for. And then, yeah, we also need 10,000 for this backpack. So, it's going to give us 36 slots. You know, I've been kind of debating that, but... At the same time, I, I do feel like it does make sense for us to actually upgrade our uh, house first now, I guess. Nothing posted there, but let's look at the calendar, too. 
if there's anything we might miss out on. Robin's birthday is coming up in a couple days. That's going to be next episode on Sunday. So definitely want to try out some uh, gifting or some stuff, seeing what she likes. Do we know anything that she likes already, though? Because I feel like Robin's one of the people we've given a lot of gifts to. Uh, yeah, hot pepper, salmon berry, and sweet pea. She might like the blackberry scent, so if we come across her, definitely want to give her a blackberry and see what she thinks about it. Hey, there's Evelyn. Let's go give her a blackberry. How nice. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Let's see if we can find uh, Caroline, though. I think she's either in Pierre's shop hanging out sometimes, or... I saw someone walking over here. Uh, I, didn't... Ah, I missed him. Or she's, like, over here. Can I steal these crops? <laughs> That'd be... Oh, wait! Hold on. No, that's Leah. I'll give you something, though. This is a really nice gift. Th oh, whoops. I accidentally clicked right there. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I didn't check my luck today. Whoops. Now, does anyone live here? Or is anyone actually in here or anything like that? Uh, Haley. <laughs> Haley. <laughs> of course, I'm not good enough friends with her, golly. Uh, I'm trying to find Caroline, though. I don't know where she is. Ah, uh, man. I should probably, like, write down where I know where everyone lives. Actually, you know what? Does it show it on the map? It should, right? But I don't know if it shows it for her. Jody, Kent, Sam, Emily, Haley. Yeah, Carol, yeah, she hangs out in Pierre's shop, but she's not there right now. Maybe maybe she's going to be there a little bit later. I don't know. Let's check the trash, though. Yeah, nothing there. Oh, hey, uh, Vincent, and oh, you know what? You know what? We have blackberries for everyone. This isn't very fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to have fun with blackberries either. This is a gift? Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a little, little fruit, little berry. Just eat it. Golly. Thanks. This looks nice. See, look, Penny knows how to be grateful for gifts. Why don't you kids learn? <laughs> Uh, oh, and there's Haley over there. I don't have any trash for her, unfortunately. Maybe I can give her bait or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but I do want to go back to the house real quick. Actually, hold on. Pierre's shop is closed right now, right? But maybe Caroline's going to actually... Hold on, hold on. Oh, there's Robin. There's Robin. Go give her a... Uh... Oh, there you go. Thanks. This is really... Okay. So we can give her a, uh, a Blackberry tomorrow. There's Demetrius. Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. Awesome. That's a very nice view. And Alex, thanks. Okay, looks like a lot of people like the blackberries. That's good. This is really great. Hey, even Shane likes them. That's great. Jody, I know I forgot about your birthday last week. But boop, there you go. This makes my day really special. All right. Even though I missed out on your special day last week, right? <laughs> Anyways, while we're in the area, let's go to the community center. And I guess we could do a couple more things uh, back at the house. Uh, oh, yeah. And then we could also go to Piers. But isn't, aren't they, isn't Piers actually shred up clothes, though? Because I'm mean, like, I know people live there. It's just, and, and Pierce is closed. He doesn't sell anything, but can you still walk? Oh, wait, there's Caroline right there. She's going back home. Okay, give her the pumpkin. Uh, There we go. Oh, the pumpkin. It's a good one. Abigail will be happy when she sees this. Thanks, Waffle. Hopefully, I got extra money from uh, it being a silver star now. Nah, 500 right there, but I'll still be grateful for that. Can I still? Oh, yeah, you can still go inside there, even though it's closed right now, right? Or at least the shop is closed. I don't know if anyone else is just hanging outside there, though. Actually, you know what? Can I give her an actual gift? Blackberry. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Yeah, it is because it's a little berry. It's supposed to be sweet. <laughs> Let's go up to uh, the community center now and donate an egg and large egg more specifically. And then I guess we can go fishing or something like that as well. Because remember, we do have that mission for the midnight cart. Maybe we'll go to the mines and actually go fishing in that lake this time around, right? Let's see. Where am I going? I think I'm going over here. And oh, yeah. I remember last episode we actually finished. What was it? The, the something forging like the exotic foraging bundle or something like that, right? Uh, which, yeah, that's not going to be that. That's going to be up here for the large egg, I believe, right? Because it, it needs, like, large goat, goat, yeah, large goat milk, regular or just large milk there, and then large egg, and then duck egg. I don't know how we're going to get that. So there we go. Uh, we're not going to have to worry about that too much, because we're going to have a large egg right there, and then we're just going to need three more things. So we're probably going to get the, that from the cow, like goat, I don't know. We'll probably, we're at, unless we can get a duck egg pretty randomly just out in the open or something like that, I doubt we're going to need that, right? But either way, uh, it's 7 p.m. right now. I guess we can go home real quick. There's a couple things I do want to test out. Because uh, remember last episode, we actually got... I think we donated stuff to the museum. And Gus, or not Gus. What's his name? The guy, the, the museum guy. <laughs> he gave us like two items. One of them was like a giant blue bear that we're using to decorate our house. And the other one was like a green pillar. I did get a comment from someone saying to like spam click that green pillar and see what will happen. So I guess I'll go test that out real quick. And then uh, while we're also over there... I guess I could do a... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I forgot to buy more bok choy. Ah, yeah. See, I was going to do that. And then we could... See, this, this is where all of our pumpkins are right now. So we're, we're putting bok choy between... Well, that's not that big of a deal, right? Uh, oh, yeah. See, there's the big blue bear. I did get a comment saying... Uh... Oh, whoops. Yeah, I also got a comment saying to, uh, to grab that and just kind of put that outside. But... How's this not waking up my dog? <laughs> but I'm, I'm tapping on this little thing right here. Now, what, what are the... Oh... What did the description of that say? C 
singing stone. Oh, yeah. It rings out with pure tone and went, okay, that makes sense. I'm like, it's literally called a singing stone, right? I didn't notice that. Can I click on this? No, I can't click on that either. That's kind of interesting, though. I do have some uh, some more trash I could put inside of the recycler, re recycling machine, right? Uh, let's see. Trash, trash, yes. Fish. Decoration. Soggy newspaper. I'm kind of curious what we're going to get out of that. So let's grab that. It's not trash. It's not trash. That's literal trash. I think someone said you could put any type of trash, like the grayed out thing right there is like the type. Oh, and you can put driftwood in there. I don't know what you can get. Well, it's probably going to give us like, I doubt it's going to give us a regular piece of wood. It's probably going to give us like hardwood or something like that, right? I don't know. That'd be really good, though. Uh, but I'll put the soggy newspaper in there right now if it lets me, just because I'm really curious about it. Oh, hey, there we go. Weather report for tomorrow is cloudy with gusts of wind. That's that's pretty common for fall, right? I'm like, it's been happening like the whole entire month. Fortune teller, though. We have a, okay, neutral today. That's not too bad. Let's pet our dog, though. There you go. I pet him while he's sleeping. He knows that we love him. Let's give a, let's put this outside, though. Can I put that out? Where are we gonna, oh, and by the way, I put down that third furnace over here. I don't know. Let's put it in the chicken coop. Should we do that? Just kind of have a decoration inside. Oh, hey, look at that. The, uh, more mayonnaise is done. Nice. Let's just grab all that. Now, remember, at 10 p.m., we need to go over to, uh, Memers is tr oh, oh, there's a chicken in front of that. I didn't see him right there. Whoops. Uh, but let's, let's not bother them. They're, they're all adults now, which is good. So they're going to be giving us eggs and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. How, how, how do you make the tap again? It's getting late. There's a lot. I don't think we have 40 wood. I might have to do that tomorrow. Unfortunately, man, there's so much stuff I'm trying to do. You guys, it's insane. 930. Ah, you know what? Let's just go down to the lake down here. You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's go make some torches as well, because this is something I wanted to do for the for the longest time. Oh, <laughs> speaking of torches, hey, it looks like we got a t oh three torches out of the heckin' newspaper right there. Not bad, uh, but wasn't it? S I think sap and wood. I don't know how much we need, but I'll get a few of those. There you go. Uh, so how much do I need to get a bunch of torches? Just kind of light up the outside area. Uh, one. Oh man, you only get one torch from one wood and two sap. That's not that's not that good, but uh, I'll, I'll make as much as I can. So there you go. Thirteen torches. Not bad. Let's put up the extra sap. And it's currently 10 p.m. right now, so, yeah. D I definitely want to go to the museum. Or not the museum. Golly. Pff. I don't have anything to give in the museum right now, but definitely want to go down here where it's, uh, yeah, see, look at this. Really dark. Definitely want to light up our pathway a little bit, right? Let's see. There you go. That's not too bad. And then keep lighting it up like this. If anything, at least so we can see a little bit easier. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't, like, stop monsters from spawning in or anything like that, right? It's just to kind of light up the area. There you go. Now just have this path go all the way to this pier over here. Oh, yeah, this guy's over here. I forgot about this. Hold on. Can I still buy stuff from them? Oh, yeah, I can't. They're, they must be closed. That eh, makes sense. Anyways, guess we'll go fishing over here, even though we don't have any torches. Oh, another max right there. Nice. Hopefully we get something good. Sp specific. Never mind. <laughs> Driftwood right there. Specifically, Midnight a Carp. That'd be really good. Uh, what? I was spamming the button. Nothing happened right there. It was like a half second before it actually came out of the water. Come on, give me something good. Man, oh, there you go. Green out, man. Okay, you know what, you know what? I'm going to grab a torch and I'm going to put it over here. Uh, let's see, there you go. There you go, okay. I did get a comment from someone saying you could have like circle lights or some weird meme uh, in the mine so I don't have to worry about like placing torches all the time over there. That's going to be pretty interesting when that happens. But boom, there we go, we got something. Hopefully we get a chest along the side of this as well. Oh, we did, okay, okay. Let's grab this and you know what, you know what? Let's grab the chest because we have a lot of green to lose. Let's go. No, don't lose the don't lose the fish because we lose the chest too, right? I think so. There we go. Standing re relative, relatively still. There we go. We got it. Nice. What is it? Oh, another smallmouth bass. And we got the chest with 10 more. Ah, oh, I can't complain about that. I can't complain about 10 more bait. Although it'd be nice if it was the other bait. The, uh, the, what was it? Oh, man, I thought that was another. It was just the it's getting late thing right there. Man. <laughs> but it'd be really nice if it was the wild bait that gave us. Man, soggy. Okay, at least we got three more torches out of that basically, right? <laughs> Can't complain about that too much now that we get it and refined quartz. Isn't that what we get out of that? Or is it the broken CD we get refined quartz out of? I forget. Uh, oh, another fish. What's it going to be? Hopefully another chest too. Stay relatively down here. No chest is appearing and oh, we didn't get perfect there, man. All right. Small mouth bass. I, I really do feel like all the all, all the all the wild what was it midnight man. <laughs> I feel like all the midnight carp over here have been fished up. So it, it makes sense going to the lake over by the mines and going fishing over there, right? Ah, just that was a little bit too late to go up there. This one seemed like it was a little closer. Oh, I don't know. This might be in Midnight Carp here. I don't know. I don't know. It's not really moving too much. This is giving me smallmouth bass vibes. 
Uh, yep, two of them, <laughs> to be more specific. Remember that new uh, wild bait that we're using? Actually, oh, it's one right, one o'clock right now, so it's got to be okay. Let's go, let's go. One one o'clock. Let's go home. Uh, we, I could put mayonnaise up if we have extra time once we actually get back to the to the to the farm, almost back to the base again. <laughs> but uh, we can we can sell the mayonnaise. Remember, we we are already selling like four or five mayonnaise or like four or eight mayonnaise or something like that. So if we sell this over here, we're going to get even more money. Actually, yeah. Uh, I think I put mayonnaise in there at the beginning off camera, and then we sold some already to. Whatever his name is, 140. We could probably still do it, right? Boom, boom. Sell the driftwood. Sell the green. Ah, I probably shouldn't have sold the driftwood. Probably could have gotten something out of that, right? Uh, now, now we can actually get stuff out of trash. Man. All right, whatever. Uh, let's put the actual newspaper in the recycling machine and go to bed. 150. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. 19 day of fall has ended with a thousand forty five dollars from farming. That's all for mayonnaise, right? Yep, mayonnaise. 190 each for the regular one. 285 for the gold. That's good money. And then, uh, Periwinkle, literally nothing from the Driftwood, yeah, see, I probably, sh I shouldn't have sold that. And then 50 for each smallmouth bass, can't complain about that. And then the, uh, the green algae, 15 each, and we have three of those for 45. $1,400 overnight, not bad, although I did want to sell a lot of our Gold Star crops and stuff like that overnight as well, I just didn't have the time to do that, unfortunately. And looks like our torch over here is done, that's good. Let's actually go through all the stuff, though, real quick. Just so I can, and you know what, you know what, let's put the broken glasses inside there now. Boom. Let's actually grab some of the gold star things and start selling them. Gold star, silver star, etc. Uh, hazelnuts, you know what, I, I, I doubt we need those. And then common mushroom, yeah, you know what, start selling those. Gold, gold star artichoke? It doesn't need to be in the community center, none of these need to be in community center, I don't believe, yeah. I kind of want to save it. Just because you guys did say it's a year two item and the only way you can get that is from mixed seeds or some other way and I forget. But I'll sell the silver star ones there though. I'll sell the gold star uh, bass and the bok choy. Definitely want to remember to go to Pierre and uh, buy some more bok choy seeds from us so we could sell or uh, grow more of them, you know. 34 silver star corn. I, I, I think it's fine if we sell those. Then uh, silver star hops. Kind of want to keep those for the keg though, right? The tomato. I don't think we need that for anything. Unless we like pickle. I don't know what happens whenever you pickle uh, or, you, you know, put those in the pickling jar or whatever that is. Do you get, like, ketchup out of that? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll have to see. Oh, yeah, and then hot pepper. We can give that to uh, Leah, or not Leah, Robin, right? I don't think today is her birthday. That's going to be next episode. The beginning of next episode. We need to remember that, right? Uh, definitely want to keep that and keep giving it to Shane. You know what? If we come across them, definitely want to give him one. Uh, we could probably go find him in the store, though, right? That's, that should be really... Oh, it's Saturday. I don't know if he's working today, though, right? Uh, gold star common mushroom. If we're going to be selling the silver star, I guess we can sell the gold star. And then same thing with the gold star by Choi. Eggplants. I'm like, none of these need to go to the community center, right? I don't think so. Oh, and you know what? Already, I did say I wanted to sell the iridium red snapper last episode, so yeah, let's get rid of that. Wild plum. Uh, yeah, I get rid of that too. And then hazelnut. And then save that. Golly, don't want to get rid of that. And then there's the gold star hops. Gold star cranberries. Uh, yeah, sell that. Yam. Gold star. I don't know. You know what? I feel like Demetrius might like yam just because he likes potatoes. And this is a technical, isn't yam just another word for sweet potato? So maybe I can give that to him uh, just randomly. But I, I, I don't want to sell. This is stuff I want to sell. So maybe I'll sell the two gold star yams. And now our inventory is full. Okay, so let's go. And by the way, let's go check up on the TV. Weather report for tomorrow is same thing. <laughs> Fortune teller is good humor today. Okay, extra luck. You know what? I got comments saying whenever you have extra luck, definitely want to go mining. Maybe we'll do that. I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, farm work over here, though, real quick. And then uh, whenever we go mining, definitely want to get out of there when it turns to 10 p.m. So we can go fishing right outside the mines. So that's definitely something we should do. Uh, let's sell all this. And I'm so excited to see how much money we're going to get out of this. You guys don't sell that. And there you go. Yep, there you go. Okay, perfect. Let's actually move the items we do not want to sell. Let's put them, like, down here. There you go. We still have eight, okay, eight uh, wild bait right there. That's pretty good. Let's go through the crops, see if we have anything we could actually grab. Uh, I think I could, because uh, the artichokes, you couldn't really tell that they were, oh wait, we have corn. Couldn't really tell that those were ready just because I was not familiar with the artichokes at first, right? Uh, then looks like I'm going to have to water all that. And then you guys actually commented that this is apparently a character from some other game, I think. So that's kind of interesting there. Do I have any regular crops I might want to sell though? Like we have a lot of corn. I guess if we sell that. Hot pepper. Mmm. I, I, I don't know. Then, then there's regular hops there, and then wheat, and regular potato, blueberry. I'm like, we don't have too many. It's not really filling up our chest over here, right? So I suppose, you know what, let's keep them at least for right now. Then, uh, oh, and that's still pickling over there. I don't know if I have anything to smelt right now, though. Uh, I definitely have to check, but I doubt it. Then uh, gold star blackberries and stuff. Grapes. Uh, see these, like, forging items? I'm so hesitant to, like, get rid of them, but at the same time, 
we don't need to use them for anything if we already finished the, the bundles, right? So kind of inclined to get rid of those. And then melon. I feel like someone asked for a melon at one point in time. I just don't. Oh, why do I have so much gold star corn? What in the world? Oh, I, got, oh, I must have been silver star corn. I sold just a minute ago. Didn't grab the plum or uh, the eggplants or the plums either. Grab those. Another yam. You know what? Let's keep that for Demetrius just for curiosity's sake. Then blueberry. You know what? I guess we'll sell that too. Then sweet pea. Yeah. And I think that's going to be it. Spice berry. Yeah, get rid of that. And then these flowers over here. Definitely want to give that to uh, people for their birthdays. Uh, I, pro I could probably give a... What's their name? I, I'm trying to remember. Robin. That's the one that's birthday is tomorrow. Probably give her one of these flowers or something like that. Might be a little bit better than... Uh, uh, what was I going to give her? A blackberry? <laughs> Might be a little bit better. But... Uh, and then wheat. I don't know. Do I want to say... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, sell that. And I think that's pretty much it. Because I'm curious about what we're going to get out of a pickled tomato. Definitely want to save the hops for when we have a keg. Uh, the flowers, save that for gifting. Hot peppers, save that for gifting. Same thing with the yam. And then the pumpkins, save that for next year for the uh, for the crops, bundles, and stuff like that, right? So I think we're pretty well set right now. Let me actually grab a watering can. Oh, wow, I have no more inventory slots after that. That's good. And uh, let me actually water all the crops real quick, and then I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit when we go mining again. Yes, all, all the... I remember I moved everything important that I wanted to keep down here. There you go. And holy heck, when do we go to bed later tonight, you guys? We're going to have so much money in the morning. I'm so curious to see how much money we're going to get. Because uh, next episode, we're probably going to have to cut down a bunch of trees. I actually got comments saying to cut down a bunch of the trees that were south of our farm. Which makes sense, because there's a, a whole forest down there. So, uh, But look at how easy it is to water all these pumpkins now that we don't have bok choy. Which, remember, still want to go buy some bok choy from Pierre. Just so we can actually plant them. And then four days later, uh, we'll actually harvest them. And then get a bunch of farming XP, right? Uh, that's like the whole reason why we're doing that. Oh yeah, before I forget, before I water all, all these crops over here. Let's go pet all of our chickens. I guess I can make more taps as well. There's one white, one white. Where's the two brown at? Ah, oh, they can blend in here so easily. And I'm hearing the bok, and the bok, and the bagok, but I'm not seeing the brown chickens. Nah, you guys are probably just saying, oh, there's the brown chicken right there, but I don't see him. Oh wait, here's one. Yeah, look at that. Like, literally the same color as the heckin' brown. Oh, the other one was out there too. Uh, oh yeah. Let's, let's see if there's a brown, a large brown egg inside of there. I see a, yeah, I see a large white egg. Oh, they need food, right? Oh, wait, no, hold on. Yeah, there's another egg right there, and another egg right there. Yes! Large brown, okay. Small brown, put that inside the mayonnaise machine. Large white, put that inside the mayonnaise machine. We're going to get some good mayonnaise out of that. And then regular white, yes, and then save this brown for... Uh, and you know what? Just because I like having at least three over here. Uh, let's put these over here. Let's go put that in the community center. Let's do that whenever we're actually heading towards the mine. Let's go check up on the mushroom thing over here. I know I missed the mushroom cave once last episode. Uh, eh, nothing too crazy over here. No, do not eat that mushroom. Okay, there you go. <laughs> but, uh, there you go. Let me actually pause the recording real quick. Water all the crops. Make sure I get every one of them watered. I don't know. If, I, I think I don't have to water that. I think you guys already told me I don't have to water that, that tree there. I guess it's fine on its own, right? Uh, but, you know, l let me just take care of all this over here, and I'll see you guys over at the mines. We can make a little bit more progress over there. And then, I guess, while we're heading over to the mines, we could actually, uh... I don't know if we need the torch. The, the ice levels that we're at right now are really well lit. I doubt we need these torches. Uh, yeah, but on, on, on the way over to the mines, I guess we could buy some bok choy seeds. And if we have enough time heading home, we could actually plant them. Uh, I doubt that, because we're going to be basically staying until 1 o'clock or something like that again. <laughs> what if we do that midnight vision, right? Let's put that up, put that up. And there you go. And I guess that's going to be it for right now. So let me water all these crops real quick and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. And I'm, I'm low on energy right now, so that's why I'm eating a bunch of blackberries. I know I'm going to need a lot of energy for this mining trip. Oh, hey, there's Penny and the kids. Okay, you know what? Give them some blackberries as well as not the kids, just Penny. Just Penny. Because <laughs> I know they don't like the blackberries, right? Looks like they're going up to the playground or something like that, right? So, oh no, I accidentally clicked on Jazz. No, don't, oh, well, yeah, eat the blackberry, but also give one to Penny. Yep. No, what in the world? What? Like I'm Penny. What? Oh my God, they're all glitched inside. Oh, you've already given. Oh, I I know, I know. There we go. I got Penny right there. Okay, good. <laughs> At least she appreciates my gifts. Golly. Hey, we have a uh, thing on the bulletin board. Nice. Let's go buy some bok choy seeds. By the way. Oh, whoops. Buy some bok choy seeds over here too. Uh, I'll need some corn. Keep. Oh, what? I just sold a corn. Abigail, man. Uh, it's 12 something right now. Yeah, we have enough time. I guess we could do, do that real quick. Did I accept that? Cows don't wait. Did I do that? Where is that on this? I hope I accepted the thing. Did I not? I don't think I did. Okay, it's okay. It's got an exclamation point right there. Abigail's probably going to be over there at Pierre's shop anyways. So I guess we can go back real quick. 
Uh, but for right now, just keep on eating some blackberries, trying to get more energy and whatnot. Uh, there we go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> but I literally just put a corn up inside the other uh, thing. I can give her a gold star corn, but I have like 50 regular star corns. I put a, uh, I missed a corn whenever uh, I was getting them earlier, so, oh, whoops. Wait, yeah, why do we have a random corn in the forging items thing? <laughs> whoops. <laughs> well, let's go, let's go give uh, Abigail a random piece of corn. I don't know how in the world she's going to prank her dad with a piece of corn, but I, I, I guess... I guess maybe I could ask her afterwards. I don't. Oh wait! Oh, what in the world? She's right there. What am I supposed? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't accept the thing yet. What am I supposed to do with a piece of corn that I want for a prank? <laughs> oh my! Wait, why is she heading over here? I've never seen her over here. Oh, oh what am I doing? I need to go accept that. Ah! I'm running all over that good place. I don't know where she's going to be here in just a sec. I've never seen her over there. Golly! Why is she heading towards my farm? Where's she going? I don't know. I don't know why I didn't accept this the first time. No, don't click on that. Accept. There we go. <laughs> okay, it's going to make Abigail happy. She's kind of confused by the corn. Uh, I guess I technically gifted it to her right there. So maybe now we know she doesn't like corn. <laughs> so that's good, right? Okay, well, oh, wait. Is she up there? No, oh, no, that's a squirrel running up there. Okay. But uh, is she in my farm? Is she? What, what is she doing over here? I don't know. Is there a cutscene that's going to happen? What? No, I guess not. Give her a corn in the world did she go? Golly, she could be anywhere by now. I don't know where she at? She's gone! Ah, man. I don't know, maybe we can find her a little bit later, maybe maybe tomorrow or something like that. I don't know when that mission ends. Oh, it ends in two days, golly. Ah. Uh, where in the world she could be, though? I don't know, let's go, let's go buy the bok choy seeds. If you come across her, we already have a thing of corn. She's, she's already got the corn that she needs for the prank. It's just that, for some strange reason, she doesn't know what to do with the corn, even though she wanted it. Ah, uh, the weird technicalities of gifting people things before they actually need it for the mission, right? Golly. All right, well, we're running all over the place, wasting time we could be doing for the mine and whatnot. Nice little rhyme right there. Another rhyme accidentally, golly. And I just put up the heckin' hot pepper. I could have given that to Shane right there. What's Shane doing over here? He works in the Jojo Mart. <laughs> That's kind of sus, isn't it? Uh, let's get uh, bok choy. How long does it take for... Oh, okay, yeah, it takes a little too long. Bok choy, you know what? I forget how much... Uh... Oh, yeah, wasn't it 30? That's what we did last time, so let's do 30. And there you go. And that took up a lot of our money right there. Was that? Yeah, 50 each? Golly. It's pretty expensive. I don't think uh, Abigail's over here, right? I don't think she teleported up to her room. Yeah, she's not here. I don't know where she is right now. I don't know where she was heading right there. That was kind of weird. But uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe next episode, we could do that for her mission, right? Uh, we do have good luck today, so... Uh, oh my gosh, we got cookies. Uh, no, so I could use pay. Okay. And there's uh, whatever his name is. Uh, yep. Nothing. Okay, whatever. Anyways. Uh, oh, yeah, because it's Saturday. Oh, my gosh. I've got, yeah, because the heckin' missions. When do they end again? Sunday or Monday? I think it's on Monday. A Monday, it, like, resets, right? So that means we have until Sunday to do it, which means the first half of next episode. We haven't found a heckin' Midnight Carp since the first, ha like, first day. And what the world's Mario doing over there? Well, I don't know why we're having so much bad luck finding Midnight Carp, you guys. Like, literally zero luck. Negative luck, if you will. Let's go to the mines real quick, though. We have a bunch of bok choy seeds and whatnot. We have- Oh, I forgot to put the large egg inside the community center. Golly. There's Demetrius. I don't have the yam I wanted to give to him, but whatever. Let's go inside here. What do the cookies give you? They give you a good amount of energy. I guess I could save that. You know what? Let's put up a- Let's put up a little bit of bait inside there. Put the large egg inside there. The torches, I don't need that. Corn, I guess I'll put that up inside there. Bok choy seeds. So I can use paper. Keep the cookies. Just so we could have those for energy. But uh, for right now, let's try and go through all this. Try and kill all the enemies and whatnot, right? Oh, a bunch of bats and little, little, little coal dropping guys there too. Oh, and a literal ghost. Oh yeah, I did get comments from you guys saying I could actually buy new new weapons from the Adventurers Guild. I'm I'm, I'm kind of considering going out because uh, I think they close relatively late, right? Like at eight o'clock or oh, I got slowed at like eight o'clock or something like that. So maybe I can go out, right? Oh wow, got gold ore and a soul essence right there. Amazing. Uh, but because I have such good luck, I should be able to find a way down here pretty swiftly. Yeah, it takes two shots to break these with this, uh... Pi oh, you know what? I did say last episode I did want to upgrade my pickaxe to, uh, iron or something like that, right? I forgot to do that. It probably would have been done by next episode if I started at the beginning of this episode. Golly, I'm all over the place. Okay, still have no luck finding, uh, the way down, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah, like I said at the... Last time we were here? When was that two episodes ago? I'm trying to remember. But this looks like a frozen version of, like, level... 15 or 20 or something like that, right? It's kind of interesting. A little bit of detail there. I don't know if it was a copy-paste sort of meme or a weird coincidence. I don't know. But, uh... Oh, there you go. Found the way down. Okay, perfect. 
Uh, I don't know if this is a copy of the, the level after that level, but let's just break everything over here. We still have decent health, even though we got swarmed by enemies just a minute ago. There we go, get rid of that ghost. A lot of crystals over there we could break, that's good. And speaking of crystals, there's a uh, thing right there. We're not going to find those fire crystals until level 80, I believe, right? Didn't I say I looked it up or something like that? I think so. Or so inco- I, I don't think so incompetent. I feel like I looked that up, specifically. Uh, but either way, let's try and- uh, There you go. Uh, kill the slimes, break the crystals. I don't know what we're going to get out of the crystals, though, but I'm breaking them. Uh, there you go. Kill this- Man, these slimes are resilient. Let's kill the ghost! Ah, oh, there's another slime up there! Oh my gosh, I'm actually half- Oh, what in the world? I killed the slime or something like that, and then- like, I broke the rock, nothing was under it, killed the slime while it's on top of that rock, and then suddenly that heckin' ladder appears. <laughs> so confused. Oh, what in the world? Oh, he's teleporting! Golly. Okay, you know what? Break the iron and stuff, get a bunch of that. Uh, I kind of want to, not like, not salvage, but uh, loot as much stuff over here as possible. And it's currently 750 right now. You know what? Let's leave it about, like, I'd say, like, 9, th I don't know, 930 or something like that? I don't know. But I'm getting swarmed over here. I kind of want to eat the cookies. There you go. Eat the cookies, get a little bit of health. An energy pack. Wow, that was really good right there. Nice. God, this ghost has not died. How's it not dead? It's still alive. It's still wandering all over the place. Wandering this earth, even though it literally died. <laughs> That's why it's a ghost, right? Pick up that. What in the world is all this stuff I'm picking up right now? I don't know. what. The, oh, it's just like a random stone or something like that, huh? How's this go? There we go. Golly, he's finally dead. Finally killed the little, 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 whatever those little mites are that drop coal as well. What? Oh, I got crystal fruit. A delicate fruit that, okay, never, no, crystal fruit, not seeds. I guess I could just eat that and get a bunch of energy back as well as, uh, health and stuff like that, too. Uh, a little bit of iron over here and grab. There you go. Not bad. Nice little rhyme again. I don't know if grab rhymes with bad, but it kind of sounds like it might. And speaking of mites, there's like, it sounds like there's, oh, what in the world? Oh, I picked up a heckin' thing in my hot bar. I accidentally clicked that. There you go. Try and at least hit that guy and do some damage to him. There you go. Try and kill these. I don't know what those little mites are. I dropped the coal. I know someone commented their name a little while ago, but I forgot. <laughs> and I think little Diglett guys might appear out there. Might want to stay clear of that, at least for right now. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's super bright. Uh, that's why I didn't need the torches. That's why I left them upstairs by the elevator. I see anything right there. It's currently 57. Uh, I don't know if we're going to leave this in time. And I've got a heckin' ghost following me as well. At least I can kind of keep him at- Oh, another frozen tear! Awesome. Whoops, that was the wrong thing. Didn't need to break it with that. I uh, kind of want to break these. Keep trying to find the way down. Not finding anything. Nope, nothing there. Man, break, keep breaking those. I don't know if we can find the way down on these crystal things here, though. Man, a lot of rocks right here. Okay, try and break these. Try and find the way down. Kill the ghost. There we go. We got him. Nice. And we got another solar essence. Awesome. I think someone said something about the solar essence, like I could use that for something. I forgot what it was. Man. Oh, there we go. Finally found the way down right there. It's 1030. Golly. Oh, my God. Is that copper? What? No, that's like a... That's some other thing, right? I think so. I think so. I'm slowed. Kill the ghost. That's some other thing that's going to be, uh, worth a lot, like Topaz or something like that, right? Uh, yes, Topaz, awesome. There's already a way down. So, you know what? Let's go to 59. We can always come back a little bit. Oh my gosh! Yes, this is a- it's a heckin' copy-paste! It's just ice now. Man! I'm going to, like, go over, like, spiral around all this. I'm not going to be able to do all this! Oh, this is terrible. Golly. Actually, I don't know. I, oh, oh, never mind! I was about to say. There we go. Okay, we got it. What is this? Crystal Dagger! Holy heck, and yeah, look at this, this is the ice version of that one level where there's like a pond over there. You guys said I could go fishing over there. Found the Crystal Dagger, okay, let's I can leave, let's go fishing. Let's go, 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 grab the stuff, grab the stuff. Um, what do I actually want to grab? Uh, bait, do need that. Large egg, I don't think we're actually going to be able to give that to the community center, but I'll put that there. Sap, I'll put that up. Bat wing, don't need that. Quartz, I'm like, we have a lot at home. I guess I'll put that up right now. Stone, frozen tear, or, no, it's frozen geode. I thought that was frozen tear, man. Solar essence, gold ore. What do I actually, eh, winter root. Oh, I'll put that up right now. Oh, yeah, we did get a frozen tear right there. Cool. Uh, then crystal dagger. Level four. This blade is made of purified quartz. Four to ten damage. What do we have from the bug head? Ten to twenty, though. Man. But fifty, plus fifty crit power, and then plus two crit chance, and then adds a little bit of weight. What does that even mean? Does that mean it's slower whenever I use it? Like, what does that, what does that do? I don't know. Kind of want to test it out, though. Uh, let, let's go. Let's go fishing. We only have a little bit of time. Thankfully, the lake is like right here, so I have to actually. Uh, yep. Does this work? Okay. Good. Nice. Oh, immediately got a hit. Awesome. Hopefully, we actually get a midnight carp here. We need six of them. Remember, it's not even moving. It's probably another heckin' smallmouth bass. And we got it. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, that's not. Oh, that. Oh, it's just a regular carp. What? How do I get a regular carp and not a midnight carp? How do I not get anything right there? Come on. And. Nothing. Man. Oh, there we go. 
And I got a green algae, and it's midnight already! I, I, I literally picked up a carp just seconds away from midnight. It should have counted as a midnight carp. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on! I'm wasting so much time here. I'm not catching anything. I have a wild bait and everything, so I can get double the, the double the fish. I just need, I, I, you, you guys also commented I need like a tackle box or something like that in order to use that quality bobber. Oh, bullhead! New record right there. Uh, I don't know how long it was. I clicked too fast because I want to get the second fish. Come on! <laughs> I'm trying to get them. I literally have four, and they're all from the first day. I'm having like no luck getting the midnight carp. Oh, this might be it. It's moving all over the place, and I already messed up the perfect. Golly. I'm not getting any chest, too, by the way. I wish I could get a chest to at least kind of make up for uh, not getting any midnight car. Oh, we got it! We finally got another midnight car. We have half of them. We just need to get five more. Yeah, because we need ten. I think we had four, and now we have five. And it's 1240. I'm going to leave it. I'm, going, I'm, leaving, I'm leaving at one. I got a green algae. I didn't get anything right there. Man! Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My gosh. Jeez, it's always a race against the clock. At least we got a gold star car. Gold a star a carp right there. I don't think we're going to be able to sell that. We need to hurry, hurry, hurry back home. I don't know if I'll be able to forge anything on the way back home, though. I don't see any walnuts or uh, hazel. Oh, there's a hazelnut right there immediately in my path. Grab it. Oh, <laughs> that could probably cost me like a split second. I'm now I'm going to fall asleep right in front of my house. Nah, I doubt I doubt that's going to happen. Yeah, I doubt it. We're at 1.30 right now. I think we have enough time. Maybe the pickled, uh, oh my gosh, there's weeds in the way. Maybe the pickled, uh, pumpkin. That's going to be done tomorrow or something like that. We got regular wood. By the way, I put a driftwood right there. So I guess we get regular wood out of that. That, that kind of sucks. I thought we'd get hardwood out of that. But oh, hey, hey, look at that. We got a level five combat fighter or scout. All attacks deal 10% more damage. Almost at 100%. Golly, that'd be amazing. Critical strike chance increased by 50%. Mmm. So every, basically every other hit will have the ability to do double damage with a critical strike. I don't know if it's double damage in this game. Is it triple damage? I don't know what critical means in this game. Or is it only like 50% damage? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. But I kind of feel like Scout might work a little bit better. Critical Strike dealing more damage, because we already do a lot of damage with our current uh, bug's head. Does more damage with uh, that bug head weapon compared to whatever the uh, Quartz Dagger or whatever that we just picked up was. I'm like, maybe it's a little bit faster, but it just, it just does more upfront damage. I feel like this Scout will... I think that's better. Maybe I'm going to get comments saying I should have chose Fighter. I'm going to choose Scout. That seems like it's going to work a little bit better. Let's do that. Boom. Level five. Oh, we got level five mining too. Miner one ore per vein. Oh, plus one ore per plus one ore per vein. Golly. Chance for gems to appear in pairs. I like the sound of geologist. I honestly do. But at the same time, miner plus one ore per vein. So if we come across like a gold ore vein, don't we get like three or something like that from one gold anyways? Or not gold, copper. Maybe gold, too. I don't know. That could be really helpful early on to get more ore, because you need five of them to get an ingot, right? Ah, man. But the gems, you get the gems, and then you, you sell them, and you get good money. But then again, it seems like you come across ore is a lot more common than gems, right? Man. Ah, what am I going to choose? I don't know. They're both good. They're both great. I don't know which one I'd... I'm kind of thinking about miner. Just so we can get more gold ore quicker. Because I feel like if I'm going to be getting, like, gems and stuff without our geologist, that's just to get money, right? And we, we could already make good money from our farm. So maybe the miner one makes more sense. I think I'm going to go for miner, just by that thinking. Let's do that. I'm probably going to get comments saying I should have done geologist. But then I get comments saying I could, like, once I hit level 10, I could change it again. Or maybe I could have another choice between two different things. I don't remember. But... I think I'm going to choose Miner. Boom. Fishing? What? Holy, we leveled up a bunch today, you guys. That's amazing. Fish are worth 25% more. Or Trapper. Resources required to craft crab pot. What? Why would I do that? Let's do the Fisher. What? <laughs> I haven't crafted any crab pots since I crafted those two other ones, right? Actually, I don't think I ever crafted any. Didn't we get three from some forging or some bundle at the community center? And I just always use those three. I don't think I ever made any more. Oh, yeah, I used... I, I made... No, I didn't make any more. I moved the one from the ocean and the river to my farm. That's what I did. I didn't make those two right there. So, yeah, let's definitely do Fisher right here where we're, they're going to be worth 25% more. And oh, my gosh, we're getting money. Hey, $18,000. What? <laughs> 12,992. My dog literally just got up and left whenever I started yelling right there. 
<laughs> he usually lays down under my desk whenever I record these videos. Now he, he freaked out for me, Alan. <laughs> oh man, hopefully he's he's not too freaked out from my freaking out. <laughs> oh my gosh, do I have to read through all this? Like, look at this. You, you guys already saw all the stuff. that I, It'll take an extra five minutes of the video or something like that. Fifteen gold star corn for 82 apiece. What, what sticks out the most? Seventeen gold star eggplant for 99 each. Twenty-three silver star eggplant for 82 each. Oh my gosh, look at that money we got right there. Thirteen uh, silver star cranberries for 102 each. And then the, wow, 34 silver star corn for 68 each. We got $2,300 right there. Amazing good money. And we also got some stuff from the fishing. Uh, the Iridium Smallmouth Bass, three of those for 100 each. Yeah, not that much money. Red Snapper, uh, Iridium there, 100 each. Yeah, not, nothing there. Honestly, kind of upset that we're getting, like, so little money out of an Iridium thing, but whatever, right? Uh, Silver Star, Smallmouth Bass, only 62 each, and then Gold Star Bass, Smallmouth Bass, 75 each. So, yeah, it, you can see right there the Gold Star to the Iridium right there is 25 gold whenever it uh, becomes Iridium, so that's kind of interesting little thing right there, right? But either way, day 20, hey, look at that, there's that number right there. Day 21 of fall is starting, we're going to be doing this day tomorrow, next episode. Look at that shaking up there on the top right corner, that's amazing. It was, it was freaking out because we got $18,000 overnight. Golly. And it was just put up that uh, Iridium, or not Iridium, but uh, Crystal Dagger. Put that up over there, level 4. Well, this is a level 4 sword, this is a level 4 dagger. I guess we could try it out real quick, right? Just see what it's like. Oh, I can kind of spam with it. I'm spamming right now as fast as I can. And how much was that? Four to 10 damage with a plus two crit chance. We already have plus 50% crit now with that upgrade. And then crit power, then plus five weight. I don't know what that really means. I might I might try it out. I'm, I'm spamming about... Yeah, I'm spamming as fast as I can. That's about as fast as that's going to go there. So that, that kind of sucks compared to the bug head. But it kind of goes in a swipe pattern. So it's able to hit multiple enemies, right? So a swipe pattern that hits multiple enemies when we're surrounded, compared to a dagger, where we can kind of spam it like this, do 4 to 10 damage each time, with heightened crit chance, both from the dagger itself and my, uh, my, my, like, combat, like, leveling up or whatever right there. Interesting stuff there. Now, there's a lot of things that I'm going to have to harvest next episode, so we're going to have to uh, end it off right here, and then next episode we'll look forward to that. My dog just came back, you must have noticed that I've kind of calmed down a little bit right there. <laughs> but, uh, either way, oh my gosh, there's a... Midnight call. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's check that because Sunday, this is the last day to do this. So we need to actually catch a five midnight carp tomorrow. Unfortunately, can't like do that all that. We can't like dedicate a whole entire day to do this mission because we can only do it at 10, like 10 to 2, 2 a.m. Actually, can I? Does this does this count as a lake right here? Could I technically fish until like 140 or 150 right here at this lake or pond or whatever? and try and catch Midnight Carp there. I don't think so, right? Because I think you guys told me specifically to fish out of here and that would give me trash. So I, I, I think that if I try and do that next episode, I'll, I'll just be wasting my time. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to try that out then. <laughs> Either way, I'll, I'll definitely have to end off this episode right here. Um, oh yeah, where's that? Oh, there's the large egg. Next episode, definitely want to go give that to the community center. So we'll have a little bit more progress there. We'll sell this Midnight Carp, Silver Star, the uh, Gold Star Bullhead. Uh, this is like a new record, all that kind of stuff. Frozen Tears. Someone wanted that. I don't think it was Community Center. I think we already donated to Community Center. But I think someone wanted that for something. And I think that could also be a good gift for Sebastian. I don't know if we're going to save it for him. Uh, then we have two Frozen Geodes. We definitely want to go to the Blacksmith next episode. Not only to crack those open, but also to upgrade our Copper Pickaxe. I think it costs $5,000 alongside like five Iron Ingots, I think. I want to go inside and go check how many we have. I think we have enough to do that, right? Yeah, we have 12. Yeah, we can do that, no problem, next episode. We have the money, we have the ingots, we could definitely do that next episode. Get that process started, and then I guess two episodes from now, we'll have an iron pickaxe finally. We'll be able to open, uh, we'll, we'll be able to... Oh, I forgot to put taps on the trees. Whoops. I'll definitely have to do that next episode. <laughs> but uh, this midnight carp thing and, and watering, like, huge amounts of crops and stuff over here is really, like, taking up a lot of our time, you guys. Golly. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that Midnight Carp thing next episode, but it'll be pretty close. So to find out if I actually end up doing that, uh, tune in next time. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss what happens next. Are we going to finish that Midnight Carp mission or not? I don't know, we're going to have to find out. One and a half star on Zacha right there, not bad. But until then, 
Thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Oh.